G'day guys, here we'll look at the PDC and DRC18 drill drivers. Here I'll show you all the product features, the accessories and consumables, and also how to maintain your product so you get the most out of it. So now we'll have a look at the, uh, just the product features, a bit of a walk around the tool. Uh, firstly, there's not a lot of difference in length. There's about 10 mil more length in the PDC, and this is because of the percussion side of it. Um, but size is, is pretty much the same. Uh, up the top here you've got your gearbox settings. So four speed gearbox, which opens you up to a lot of applications. So the first speed is at 400 RPM, the second 850, you've got third speed 1850, and then finally four speed, which is 3800 RPM. So really quick drilling at that. This here is your torque settings. So depending on what gearbox setting you've got it on, you can put your torque setting on. So if you are driving a screw into a consistent material, you'll get the same result. And far left and far right will cancel this out. So that'll be, that'll just go into drill mode. So yeah, when we, we push that across. So the workings on the DRC exactly the same um, with the gearbox settings and the, and the torque settings. The PDC obviously has got the drill mode and also the percussion mode. So we you can just flick that over and then bring that all the way through. And the benefit of this is it will give you 76,000 beats per minute. So it's extremely quick when you're into, into masonry. So that's our, our setting through there. Just on the tool itself, you've got your trigger and your, your forward and reverse. You've got your belt clip there. Hook it on, so that is on, that's on both sides of the, the tool. On the front here, you've got where you can switch the light on. So if you're working in a cabinet or whatever, you can flick that on and off there. And when you do turn it off, it gives you a bit of a battery display to tell you at what status the battery's, the battery's up to. In the front of the tool, when we take our, our um, hex bit, the hex bit will, draw, will fit directly in there. So this means we can shorten the drill if we're working in a cabinet or, or something like that. The chucks also there is the Centratech chuck. So we pull the sleeve back, we can locate that on. Now with Centratech, it doesn't take the standard uh, hex drive. Okay, the, the idea of the Centratech is it's driven out of the quarter inch shank drive. So all we do is pull that green sleeve back, that'll locate that in and then that now becomes magnetic on the end of the tip. So the Centra Tex there is just to give it more precision when you're driving, particularly if you're driving force and a bits and this sort of thing, so it drives it direct from the drive. So that's our, our Centra Tech system, how that works. And then you've got the fast fix chuck. So you pull that sleeve back, locate that in. Again, you've got the hex drive in there to put that in and out. And also it comes with the handle so the handle we just loosen that and that can be indexed whether you're left or right hander into those points when using it and tightened up and the chuck will also go go over the top of that as well so that's how the um that's how the system works between the pdc and the, the drc so just a, an overview of the accessories and some of the consumable uh, bits etc that you can get so we can remove that that 13 mil chuck and in relation to the Centratech chuck we can fit that on and the Centratech and this is only a small variety of them have got a, uh, a few different um, drill bits, driver bits, masonry bits, extension bits that we can use for it and as I mentioned before the benefit of this is that it supports a drill bit so you get really precision drilling and um, a good result. So the Centratech comes in, a, in all different types of bits and the whole idea of it is for quick changeover but also to reduce the overall length of the drill rather than having a, a chuck on it. Another benefit here is the right angle attachment. So we can fit that. Again, that needs to have the quarter inch hex lined up and we can fit that all the way around the drill. All we do is we just pull that sleeve back and then we can locate in whatever position we want. Again, this is to get into really short compact areas. So we've got the benefit of either running the bit directly out of the right angle or we can use the system of chucks with it. So whether it be the Centratech bit holder, um, it may be that we want to drive a, a force and a bit 
um, we've got all types of self-centering bits, anything like that where you need to drive, the Centra Tech's here to, for fast changeover. And where we do need to, maybe auger bits or anything like that, we can use uh, the chuck in there as well to be able to do that. So the system works the same on the, the right angle attachment, and that's one to one ratio, so there's no power loss when, you, when you're using that. For drilling applications as well, you've got this obviously to go onto the, the dust extractor, and that way we can clean the holes out as well, so that's another accessory, particularly handy when we're using it with masonry. And the other one, Chuck, here is the, the depth cage, so this is where we want depth adjustment. We can fit whatever drive bit we want, and this has got a plus and minus on here, and the idea of this depth stop is that it protects it as well so if we're going into a timber or something like that it's a non-marking face so every time we hit it it gives us a consistent result so this gives you a bit of an overview of some of the accessories that help um, provide a system that's really efficient so this is just a couple of tips to get the most out of the tool and a few maintenance tips with that as well. So firstly, with um, as far as battery, charger and, and tool, ideally you're trying to keep your, your contacts clean. So even when you, you're putting it on and off the tool, just make sure it's clear of dirt or anything like that that could get in there and maybe have an impact on, on the charging times and things like that. Um, an important one with, with all tools is keeping the cooling air ducts uh, clear so this is where it's pulling in its cooling air to cool the motor it's got a brushless motor in there too which doesn't run with a lot of heat but still we need the cooling ducts in there so even to, to blow that out would be fine to keep that um, okay uh, in relation to chucks um, a lot of people tend to ruin chucks in certain situations so this has got a metal protection sleeve on it and it's got a similar a, a double locking mechanism on it when we say that we can we can lock that up and then when we turn the chuck it's got the the ratchet system on it and then we can just tweak it back that one turn to hold that bit in there um, correctly so so these are just a couple of little things that will help you get the most out of the tool and, and give it a long service life